gotta keep winning, I gotta keep winning, I gotta keep winning, winning, winning. Gotta keep winning. What a great way to start my morning. For some odd reason, my coffee machine's not working. You see this? This house runs on love, laughter, and lots of strong coffee. This isn't no strong coffee right here. What's going on? Got the water in it, got the coffee in it. I have no idea. I did manage to get a little bit in here. Check out this new cut that my wife got me. That's official. That's official. Look at that. I was using her uh, work cup. Kinda, I kind of jacked it up a bit, but I can't be walking around looking like that. So she hook your boy up. Favorite color red. She know how I like it. But anyways, back to this. I think I'm going to just cut it off. Unplug it and let it chill for a minute. And then we'll try it again. But let me show you guys my meals. Straight body building meals right here, boy. Check it out. This is my meals for the day, I believe. I gotta put it all in my fitness pal, but we pretty much have five ounces of chicken and 50 grams of cooked green beans in each container. Look at that. That's five meals right here. So what I've been doing is spreading out my protein. So yesterday, I actually got in a little bit more protein in each one which caused me to have less protein in my last meal so I want to like evenly distribute it you know throughout the day and eat more frequently you know of course I got my condiments I got my honey mustard right there and I got my sugar-free hickory barbecue sauce I've been throwing in more almonds I've also been messing around with a little bit more peanut butter getting a little bit of getting a little bit more fats in so there you have it, bodybuilder meals, baby. You too was good, man. Good morning. It is a good morning today, man. It's Friday. We all need to be happy about Friday. It's a good day of the week, man. Quick update. Woke up today, 0.2 pounds lighter. 187.2, the weight is going to slowly make his way back down. So I'm not really too worried about that. But I did wake up a little tighter today, which I am pretty happy about, you know. Uh, I tried something new last night. I was skeptical about it, but I was like, hey, no need to not try it. This is, a, this is all a game, man. It's all trial and error, you know. So what I did was I added an extra meal. Now, I know I jumped on here um, sometime last night and told you guys I was up in the fat a bit. I believe I did that. And so with adding some more fat, I just went ahead and jumped up some more protein. So essentially I just added an extra meal. So I added some more chicken, some more veggies, and some more almonds. And I also had some peanut butter too as well. So I finished up last night, I think around like 260 to 270 protein, about 90 fats, and still carbs 50 to 60. So because the carbs are super low and that causes the calories to be even lower, I just added some fat, added some protein, brought my calories up just a bit, you know? It brought my calories up, not where I'm like super, super low, uh, which I have been, you know, lately. And I felt really good about it. And today I woke up feeling pretty good, feeling a little tighter, uh, less holding on to less water. And, you know, I've been doing a lot of reading and it's funny because, you know, they will say, stop saying that you're holding on to water. You're not holding on to water, you're just fat. <laughs> Which is funny because, I mean, yeah, sometimes you are just not lean enough to reap certain benefits as lean people will. So if you're super, super lean, usually when you do like a carb up, uh, you end up filling out. But in all actuality, you deplete yourself first. So you're depleting yourself and then you're just adding those carbs and filling yourself back up. So you're not really getting any bigger or anything like that. You're just filling up all those muscles that you depleted, you know? And that's, that's pretty much all you're doing. So in all actuality, you really do not need a peak week, you know? I think, I think, that's all my thoughts, that peak week 
works best for you know a lot of guys using you know certain type of drugs you know they use a lot of water water uh, expelling drugs um, different testosterone type of drugs and all that plays a big part in their peak weeks you know with the sodium with calcium potassium everything that's that's being manipulated the water and everything and I think as a natural competitor a natural bodybuilder a natural lifter you do not necessarily need all of that carb loading peak week type of thing because your body is just natural and it's going to respond to just natural things and it's going to actually respond to what you've been doing throughout your whole prep and it's going to pretty much stay fairly the same you're not going to see any magic anything really that different you know so i'm saying all that to say i might not participate in having a peak week you know my peak week might just be on low carb for a certain amount of days and then just picking it up towards the end. Closer to the show, picking it up, you know? And that's pretty what, pretty much what my peak week might consist of, which is pretty natural for a lot of people. I mean, they do deplete themselves and then carb up towards the end, usually right before the show. And that's exactly what I'm thinking I might do. I might have a giant, nice free feed about 10 or nine days out and then just low carb all the way until we're about one day out. And just eat carbs as needed, you know? Cause I noticed that I was a lot tighter and I looked a lot better back when I was out of town when I was in the hotel room. You guys can refer back to that. I might even put a picture up on the screen. I just looked real good. And I think a lot of that had to do with I was fasting for a longer period of time. Uh, and I also was incorporating a lot of sauna, just getting out all that sodium and water. Um, you know, it's a lot of different variables that played a part in that, but I did look, look a lot better and I wasn't really messing around with jumping up carbs here. I had a nice little small refeed, I believe, where the carbs were probably like around 200 maybe, compared to, you know, my normal uh, 150 that I was doing. So. And also, I just had carbs. I had carbs throughout. I wasn't really low carb. I had carbs throughout. I was taking in about 150, uh, 140 grams of carbs a day. So I looked a lot better. So this week coming up, we're gonna play around with that, and I'm gonna see. So what I'm gonna do is I'll probably have a nice refeed on Sunday. I'm gonna go low carb. I'm still low carb as of yesterday, which was Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Do low carb. They have a, de a decent refeed on Sunday and then kind of taper the carbs down a little bit more drastically than we did this peak week simulation. I'm pretty much gonna go no carb. I'm going to deplete myself, you know? So I'm gonna do pretty much 50 to 60, maybe even 70 grams of carbs. And on Friday, come next Friday, a week from now, I'm going to throw in those carbs. Another kind of peak week, another kind of peak we practice i'm kind of throwing the cards as if i'm competing on saturday and i'm just going to see what my body does you know i think that's going to work you know i think that's going to look real good uh, plus the low carb is going to help you know tap into those that that fat oxidation and i want to cut off a little bit more fat when i jump into this to the show man we want to come in lean you don't have to be super super lean as a physique competitor it's not bodybuilding you don't have to be striated groups and all that but you do want to you want to be defined you know you want those abs to be defined and that's what we're working towards so that's what we're going to do uh, fat is up right now we got the fats up i'm going to play around and keep my fats up high i haven't done that all prep but i did last night and i felt good about it and woke up feeling good looking good so fat we're going to keep at about 90 maybe push it to 100 because the carbs are super low that's the reason for that and the protein is now going to be at an all-time high we're going to just throw in a massive amount of protein you know so you saw the meals man keeping the meals all the same right now i'm out of any other groceries except for green beans and chicken which is why i have a lot of chicken on the, on the menu so that's what we're working with you know getting a lot of protein in getting a lot of meals in more frequently and want to space out my meals and just get more in so that's the quick updates this is pretty much uh, one day out from the show, you know, the simulation practice, one day out from the show, and we're still going to keep it as if we're competing tomorrow morning, and we're going to see how we wake up tomorrow morning, you know. Uh, the cardio is the same, the workout has changed a little bit, I'm now on uh, upper body and lower body, 
workouts. So today we got lower body day. We're gonna kill that, uh, burn those calories, you know. And tomorrow we'll wake up and see what we look like ready for that show. So of course I'm gonna keep you guys posted. YouTube, it's like that, baby. I got meal number three going down right now. You saw it earlier, but here it is right here. I uh, just left the gym. I'm actually right outside of the commissary, the grocery store. So I'm about to get some groceries, but I'm about to get this meal in real quick. So, hey, it's like that. I'm eating like every two or three hours, so I gotta have a meal on hand. It's like, it's this actually serves as like your post-workout protein shake. Got my protein right here, I got some fats, and I got the veggies. So about to get this in. Check with y'all in a bit. It's crazy, man, because it wasn't until I did this peak week that I actually started doing some research. And I'm actually learning a super lot, like just the whole concept of carbs, water, whole concept of fasting. And so what happened with me in my case was the fact that a lot of those carbs and a lot of that water was stored or whatever the case in like a spillover or whatever, as I spoke about earlier. Now, what probably happened was because I was intermittent fasting every single day for like two weeks, I caused my body to get used to the fast, right? And then immediately, boom, peak week came and I was like, hey, let me cut intermittent fast now and let me just cram in a whole bunch of carbs, thinking I was doing something when in all actuality, my body couldn't handle all that. It could, my body couldn't handle all those carbs being thrown in way before the time it was used to from fasting. I was fasting for like 16 hours a day. And so what I've learned is you really don't want to be intermittent fasting. Well, wait, wait, I'm sorry. You really don't want to be fasting every single day, which is why they have intermittent fasting, which technically means you fast, you know, you can fast majority of the week, but you don't want to fast every single day. Maybe even like five times a day, six times a day, but at least one day out of the week, maybe two days out of the week, just go back to regular style eating and don't let your body get adjusted to the fast. So that's most likely what happened with me. I'm getting it back, I'm getting back intact. I did do some extra cardio and some extra sauna uh, sitting today. And that's just because, you know, this whole holding on to this water in my stomach, not being lean enough is like screwing my head. They said this would happen, man, we're closer to the show. You start getting all stressed out and whatnot, especially when you don't have a coach. You're doing everything on your own, so it is what it is. But uh, we're making it happen, man. You're learning as you go. I mean, this is like this is basically this is a lifestyle, so you do want to learn for the future. So that's what we're gonna keep doing. But anyways, I'm prepping right now. Uh, I got some 99 ground turkey on the stove currently. I got some broccoli uh, in the oven on broil and. I'll probably throw in on some tilapia in the oven after that broccoli is done. I don't need any more chicken right now. The chicken is good to go. Uh, so let's get this prep finished. So here we go. We got five ounces of 99 lean ground turkey. And then we have 150 grams of broccoli. Smells super good. You guys know I'm going to throw my honey mustard on there. So get ready. right here is life but your oats on top of the peanut butter it's on top of the rice cake yeah did I just create something come on now <laughs> 